Okay, in this step then, it's just time to start work on creating the ground. So you're going to need a new layer for this. Might want to call it ground. Um, and using the brush, we're going to change our foreground colour to a dark brown. The colour I'm going to use for that is 39, um, 32, to C. Okay, and that's the colour I'm looking for there. And then what I'm going to do is just paint the lower part of the image in this colour using my brush. So I'm going to use a harder edged brush for this. Um, yeah, I think I think a, a hard brush is what I want. And then I'm just going to paint this in. Um, you could always draw a box if you prefer to do this, but I'm enjoying playing with the paint brushes. So when you get to the top, just try and get it quite straight. Like that, that'll do for me. Ah, oh, lovely. Okay, and then um, I'm happy with that. Okay, and now what we're going to do is start building um, some sort of rocks. To, to go in this. So I'm just going to close these other images that I'm not using and then open a new one. And this time I'm going to use this ground image, okay, which um, looks like a geezer or something. So I'm going to open that up and this is what I'm going for. And the first thing I'm going to do is just crop that to take the sky off it. I've got no use for the sky, um, it's just um, these rocks that I need. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is just move this into this image, like so. And then once you've got it, I want you to just um, use your free transform tool just to size that up. It should be about that kind of size. Um, and then hit enter. And then because we're very hot on how we color match all this, I want you to desaturate this image. To do that, press Control, Shift, and U, and as you can see, that just took all the colour out of that that layer. Okay, and that'll make matching those colours a lot easier later. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to group these two images to together. So select layer four and select ground. Press Control and G, and that creates a new group that I'm going to call ground so I'm separating the sky and the ground so I don't get lost and I can open this back up again just to see where I'm working okay um, now in the next video what we're going to do is we're going to start using this image and some copies of it um, to create quite a textured rocky kind of terrain so I hope to see you in the next video for that step